Welcome back, Vestige. News of Manamarco's demise spreads far and wide. Like worms, his followers burrow deep into the earth to escape the searing light of the coming dawn. As ever, straight to the point. You've done the impossible. The King of Worms has been consumed by the wrath of Molog Baal. The power of his worm cult is broken forever. That is the grim truth of the matter. But the Amulet of Kings is in our possession, and there is still much to do. In my sleep, I hear his tormented screams, and Molog Baal forces visions of his eternal torture into my mind. I can show you exactly what I see, if you wish it. King of Worms. Please! No more! It was a misunderstanding, Great One! Let me serve you! Let me prove my loyalty! No more, I beg of you! <laughs> Manamarco's torment will be endless. The God of Schemes will use him to set an example. All who follow him will know you cannot hope to betray the greatest of betrayals. I cannot help but pity him, despite all he has done. But this is not why you were called here, Vestige. Come, Sizahar will speak with you first. The greatest of the sword saints, Divard, tells us that destiny is a chain. Forged one link at a time. Our chain is nearly complete. There is but one link remaining. It is you, my friend. You are the link. I will not bore you with effusive praise, but state it plainly. You are a great warrior and a trusted friend. And we would like to extend you an offer. When Emperor Varen first brought the five companions together, he did so in the hope of creating a Tamriel where all men could live freely and safely beneath one banner. The five companions failed, betrayed from within by one of our own, the Worm King, Menemarko. All that came after was the result of one man's treachery. Now four of the five are reunited to right that great wrong, but destiny requires a fifth. We want you to join us as our fifth member. You were the champion we should have had with us back then. Don't look so grave. This is largely symbolic. But please, humor an old soldier. My lord, with your permission. You needn't call me that anymore, Saizahan. We are equals now. All those years ago, when we fought beneath our Lord's banner to free the Empire from the Longhouse Emperors, we did so with a dream of freedom and peace in mind. Not just for the Empire, but for all of Tamriel. Together, we forged a fellowship stronger than any blade, only to see it shattered upon the rocks of deceit by one of our own. That fellowship is no more. Yet we four have assembled here, united by a single purpose. It is not vengeance that drives us. But truth, and loyalty, and justice. I, Sai Sahan, steward of the Abbey of Blades, call for the five companions to be reforged this day. By the light of Stendar, and the heart of Lorcan, may our Blade of Fellowship be forged anew. And may the Vestige, our mutual friend and ally, become its tip. That we may thrust it straight into the heart of a Daedric Prince. Sai Sahan is right. You are the member that we should have had all those years ago. It is as the scrolls foretold. The soulless one will become the brightest of five stars, and they shall guide us to the coming dawn. Oh, please, you melodramatic sots. Fine, fine. If seeing one of your foolish prophecies come true will help to ensure the safety of the Empire, I'll play along. We stand united once more. The Five Companions are reforged, and together we will strike down the God of Schemes! Come here, my friend. I've got a few things I want to say before you go. 
It's been a long road, hasn't it? My father used to say that if you avoid all of life's abrasions, you'll never be polished enough to shine. <laughs> we must be pretty damn shiny by now. I've been thinking about our adventures and the hardships we've faced together. We're in the last leg of this journey, aren't we? I don't regret any of it, but it occurs to me that we haven't had much of a chance to talk as friends. Where do you see yourself going after all of this is over? I mean, assuming we survive, get your soul back, and stop Molag Ball. <laughs> Traveling is a humbling experience. You see firsthand what a small place you occupy in the world. Funny thing is, the farther you go, the harder it is to return. But when you do, if you do, you get to see the place you came from with new eyes. Me? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'll go back to Skyrim and settle down. Squeeze out a few whelps. Maybe raise sheep or grow cabbages. What? No! <laughs> Can you imagine it? Lyra's Titanborn. Shepherd? Farmer? Housewife? I need to be out in the wind and wild. And if I ever find my life mate, he'll feel the same way. My turn. What's your one regret about all we've been through? You never get used to it. My father, he'll die over and over again for the rest of my life. Grief doesn't go away. You just learn to live with it. But I can live my life with his daring and spirit and joy. That way he'll never die. Not really. Oh, <laughs> lots of things. Friends lost, missed opportunities. Failed endeavors. Maybe the best we can hope for is to end up with the right regrets. I do regret not taking the time to get to know the people I fought with. I hope to change that. One last thing. You like mead. I knew I liked you. So, let's toast. To Molag Ball, that ugly skeever. May his privates be infected with brown rot fever. May our course be true and our hearts be brave, as we march into Cold Harbor to spit on his grave. Let's not forget the struggles that got us to this point. We're almost home. We just have a bit further to fight. Are you all insane? You do realize what we need to do, right? We have to fight a Daedric Prince. Amulet or no, this is going to mean more death. Vestige, come here. I'll tell you what they're afraid to mention. Getting all chummy with Titanborn? I enjoy the company of clever, well-informed people. You really should try it sometime. So, you felled the great Manimarco. Well played. You've done the Empire a great service. The farmer doesn't thank the cow when it voids itself on the field, but it still makes the crops grow taller. I suppose it is, but that wasn't the reason for this heartwarming reunion. Varen and I have spoken at length since you recovered the amulet, and have determined our final course of action. Molag Baal remains a threat, and Tamriel is still in grave danger. First, the plane meld must be stopped. Even now, forces gather and plan an assault on Oblivion itself. You must join them. Then, and only then, can you take the fight to Molag Baal himself, to restore protection to Nern and reclaim your soul. I know more about the Daedra than any man or Myrrh alive. For good or ill, my family has always kept ties with the forces of Oblivion, and this much I know. One cannot kill a Daedric Prince. But we have. With the amulet in our possession, we may be able to wound him, severely, and in the process force him to relinquish every last soul he has stolen, including your own. This is where your... condition works to your benefit. The ritual we performed with the Amulet of Kings caused the soul burst and damaged the veil between worlds. If the damage is to be repaired, I must attempt the ritual again, this time with you.
Only if we use it here on Nern. But if we were to travel to Cold Harbor, we might be able to harness its power, imbue you with divine agency enough to challenge the Daedric Prince. But there is a price. Calling upon the power of the amulet in this manner will consume someone's soul, utterly. One cannot channel the power of the gods without paying such a price. Unfortunately, you don't have a soul to consume, and I am needed to perform the ritual. More specifically, one of our three companions. I suspect that's why they're so nauseatingly over-appreciative and fawning. Of course it is. The fact of the matter stands, however. One of the five will need to give their life to fuel this attack, when the time comes. So you said before the Vestige arrived. And I've already thought it over. I'll do it. Snow Lily, no. You should not need to give your life this way. This is my duty. Penance. For my numerous failures. This is my chance to make things right. The scroll said nothing of this moment, and so I am not bound to their dictates. Vestige, I ask that you let me do this one thing. All that has happened was because of my hubris. I shall be the one. Sire, you've done enough. This was Manny Marco's doing, not yours. As the one who will fight the Daedric Prince, the Vestige should decide. I don't see you leaping to volunteer, Tharn. Saving your own backside again? Hard as it may be, Lyris, don't be an idiot. I am the only one who knows the ritual, and we don't have time to teach anyone else. That's enough. It won't be decided here and now. Vestige, come here. I have some final words for you. It appears we have come full circle, Vestige. That millions of others may live, yes. Do not be troubled. Any one of us would gladly make such a sacrifice. As Thaun has said, there are already plans in motion to infiltrate Cold Harbor. You must be part of them. The chains that anchor us to oblivion draw us ever closer. They must be severed once and for all. When the plane meld has been thwarted and the dust has settled, the five companions will gather one last time to face our destinies. The god of schemes must be stopped, Vestige. That is the only thing that matters now. <laughs>